it's great to see him returning. Stuart McKinnon from the Bulldog Jim Castle Hill Bushy. Yeah, the hype behind this fight has been sensational. It's great to see the fighting McKinnon brothers back Ladies in Ladies and gentlemen, Henry. this is the main event of the evening in association with McKinnon and Badana. And this is Invincible Promotions. Immortality number four. Introducing first my fighter from the left from New Zealand, Auckland. He wears the southern blue with the white and black trim. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Jaguar, Josh Heta. And his opponent to my right wearing the southern red with the white and black trim, making his debut once again in a comeback of momentous. And here he is, Bulldog Castle here. Welcome the Trojan, Stuart McKinnon. Charge of the action, round one coming up. Huge ovation for Stuart McKinnon, one of the legends of uh, boxing and Muay Thai in Australia. Yeah, Hammer, I reckon uh, most of Castle Hill and the surrounds have come out to see Stuart the Trojan McKinnon here tonight. Of course, down the bottom of Castle Hill gym, taking on Josh Henner all the way from New Zealand, three, three minute rounds. But the hype behind this one has been huge, Hammer. It certainly has been. Now intimidated, we had to be feeling right about now. Walking into the cold, and that is the hill centre here in Castle Hill. It is that's the backyard of the boys from the Bulldog gym. This is going to be huge, and of course, you're watching this on Fight Sports. Paris production proudly brought to you by JPS Codings every Thursday night for Fox Television for Channel 183. Repeats at 11.30 a.m. on Sunday's Fox Coming up soon, the launch of Fight Sports on Demand on TV. Get on and have a look at it. Over 500 fights uploaded. Fight Sports on Demand. Get on there. Google it. Do whatever you need to do. Get on. Become a member and you've got over 500 fights for your viewing pleasure. Emma, it's about to go. The main event. Here we go, Stu McKinnon opening up, and will he throw a round body kick? I think so, folks, and I think he'll throw a lot of them, and really hard. Nice push kick, hands over the top. Stu McKinnon is back. It's good to see him. I'm excited. Once again, punches, punches, and elbows. Oh, that has been hurt early. And I tell you what, Stewie McKinnon, just under 40 years of age, is in peak condition, of course. Obviously, he's moving around with Meadsy and his brother, Steve McKinnon, as well. But I tell you what, Henry's looking like he's in absolutely peak condition. Peak condition. I hope I look like that when I'm his age. <laughs> I'm going to turn back the clock a few years, Hammer. <laughs> this Stewie McKinnon is a legend. Of course, a big happy birthday to Nick Stone as well. The big 5-0. Always want him out of the gym for some reason, I don't know why, but also the big shout out too to Scotty Ward from No Contest Boxing, main event sponsor here tonight. The boys wearing the No Contest gloves. Stewie just push kicks, hit that back. You just feel that he's lining up those big punches, hit that overhand right. And it's fair to say that the trademark technique of the Castle Hill Bulldog Gym has been the, the mid kick. Obviously, Steve's a oh, big head kick from Stu. A little bit higher than what I was just talking about, but the, they work the body so well, the boys at the Bulldog Gym. Certainly, uh, Heather, a quality opponent, WMC title holder from New Zealand, so he's a champion in his own right back home, but he's here. And he's in the war zone against Big Stu McKinnon. I'll tell you what, he wants to get his hands up, Hammond, because Stu's made it, uh, his intentions clear, he's going high with those head kicks. So up, down, low, up. Oh, big flurry, big flurry. Referee Brent Vicarley putting an eight count on Josh Hedder. He's just explosive, Stu McKinnon. What a power. He also, he's got a bit of a shoulder injury too. Both got a, a similar shoulder injury and Stu is uh, had some treatment for that, but he's showing no signs of, of any injury at this point. But uh, of course, walking in all the all the heavy pad holding and training that uh, he's done, it does take its toll on your body. But, uh, just putting the pain to the back of his mind. And, uh, Heather just putting the pain into the, the front of his mind with that groin kick. Still a couple of times, right? Yeah. No, take that one pushing. All comments made by John Pushing Ferguson. Not endorsed by Mark and Hammer Castle. I have no affiliation with any of them. All I did say, he doesn't think Spoken and authorised by Mark Hammer Castle. So, back in centre in Austin, Australia. 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 Australia.
uh, the fans are hanging over the balconies here at the Hill Assembly Castle Hill. Flurry of punches, McKinnon, all power again with the push kick. And he uses it so well. Of course, this is Australia versus New Zealand, and it is Anzac Eve Wednesday, the 24th of April. Looking very composed here, McKinnon. Of course, he decided to get back and have another crack at training uh, his brother Steve for the big challenges uh, in front of him on the glory promotions. Got the fire burning again for Stu and got him back in centre ring, and it's great to see him back in centre ring. As I said, one of the real legends of Australian Muay Thai kickboxing. But now Hitler putting on the putting on the pressure. I'll tell you what, Hammer Two with 95 on kilos, the internet forums are going to go crazy. If the kid wins this fight, the forums are going to go wild, and they know what they're going to be talking about. <laughs> And the, uh, the around the top is maybe Carnage, Nathan Corbett. The student is taking it one day, one fight at a time. Long time trainer and friend, Nick Stone in the corner with him. Great bunch of people, great bunch of guys. Okay, second down, let's go, dude. Okay, second down, let's go, boys, let's go. Second down. Fight. Let's keep going here. So round two. Badly brought to you by No Contest Boxing. Big shit. Oh, oh spinning back here. The spinning heel kick from McKinnon. Showing spinning his, something from Heather. He's got some moves. He's certainly got some moves. Big Stu. Nice and composed. He's got the ring rust out after that first round hammer and looking really composed and centering. Easily. And head up. Nice switch. Switch inside fly, then switch body. Again off the lead switch. Like you see him bring that straight right through after it. Right through the uh, barrier elbow. So the head is keeping that right arm plastered close to his chest. I reckon he's worn a couple on that, that right rib cage and he's just protecting it a bit. He's felt the power, he's felt the power and he doesn't like it, Heather. Going high again with those head kicks. Nice check. Heather now starting to bring the cross check across his body. Negate those step across kicks. The switch kicks from Stu. Again up on the front foot. Heather trying for the uppercut, missing the target. Dances out of harm's way. Look at it. Nice kick there from Heather. It's three three minute rounds. Again, switch lead. Again, switch lead. Just banging away at the carcass of Hieta. It's McKinnon. Push kick off the rear leg. Barrier technique. Just keep giving Hieta that range. Removes the target. Switches back off the lead leg. McKinnon. So really uh, making it hard work for Hieta. The Kiwi having a hard night at the office as he gets barreled back into that red corner. Crossing elbows from McKinnon. He, he just, he's just explosive, Hammer. For his first fight back, his cardio looks exceptional. Everything's sort of on, you know, his cardio is good, his work rate's right up there, his anticipation and defense is great also. Looks like he hasn't been out of the ring for even a month. Tempted at elbows there from Hedder, just not fighting their age. A couple of times, Stewie's thrown those kicks up north and either been caught on the gloves. Well, Hedder is you know, hesitant to come forward. He doesn't really want to engage. He's fighting very much in defensive mode most of the time, the Kiwi. Carly just wanting Stu not to hang on the ropes when he's throwing those kicks. This is a stick off a detail break. He loves his instructions. He loves his instructions. He was down in Melbourne. He's going to be taking points off left, right and centre. Shout out to Big Dacious. He's going to switch around switch the kick. Barrels forward with the... Uh, Punches does McKinnon. I like the way Steve's just backing off as well. He gets the shots in and he doesn't do anything stupid. He doesn't rush in again. He doesn't stand there for, for the reply either. He throws his combination. He gets his score in and then he moves. He makes it hard for Hitler to get a reply shot back. And he finish off him that second round with a nice ball
Here we go, Hammer, third and final round, no contest, boxing main event, big thanks to Scotty Ward. Of course, you're watching us on Fight Sports, proudly brought to you by JPS Coatings. Stewie McKinnon, what's he got in this third round, Hammer? One more of the same, I predict. Nice barrier elbow. Oh, down goes Penta. The power of the round kick. He looked like he was stumbling backwards, Hammer, then he got caught flush on the jaw. Hey, you all right? He looks right, but I don't know. He doesn't know where he's walking. He's just following Brad McCarley around centering. Stuart McKinnon coming in for the kill hammer. It's no calling for Stu to throw straight punches and go forward from the corner. The big round kick sets up the punches. Round technique, then straight line from McKinnon. Again, switch head kick. Comes through with that big right hand. Heta, Heta goes back. He is cut. He has hurt the big Kiwi. Yeah, big elbows from Stuart McKinnon. Switch up left. He's bringing the home hammer here at the, the Hill Centre in Castle Hill. He's turning oh, it to the fans. That shin just implanted itself in the body of John Heta. Big power, big shots from big Stu McKinnon. He is back and he is back with a vengeance. He's still wobbly though, Heta. Oh, kick the head, switch kick and through the ropes he goes. It is all over. What a way to finish it, Hammer. A head kick KO in the third round to Stewie McKinnon. Literally kicked him out of the ring. Nick Stone, Stu McKinnon, they are happy campers, a happy camp. The boys of Bulldog Castle Hill, the Trojan, he's back. I'll tell you what, Hammer, this is going to get the industry talking now at 95 kilos. The McKinnon brothers, they're big, they're here, and they're taking names. Well, certainly are. But will he be back for more? It was something that uh, he felt he had to do. And uh, set himself a challenge, and what an achievement! What a huge, huge achievement for Stu McKinnon, almost 40 years of age, and, uh, fighting like a 20 year old. Sensational stuff. Switch up left hander out of the ring. Brad McCarley waving off before it even got through the ropes. Look at it again. Beautiful. Flush on the jaw. Right out into the lap of Lucy Tui. Literally kicked his opponent and the challenger out of the ring. Kicked him almost all the way back to New Zealand. <laughs> there you have it, Hammer. A huge win there. Back, to Stu ladies and gentlemen, the Trojan, Stuart McKinnon.